Hello my dear friends welcome in this PPT video show we are studying the pancha karma ayurvedic pancha karma in medical general practice part 11 today's session is regarding the first important pancha karma procedure that is vamana vamana is a sanskrit word meaning the therapeutic vomiting of course the vaman topic is very big so we have divided into three or four sessions so this is the vamana part 1 presented by myself professor dr rajendra deshpande and you please feel free to contact me through mobile 9226810630 or you can also contact me through mail professor deshpande at gmail.com so contents of this ppt first i will explain you little bit about vamana that is the introduction part then i will talk to you about indications of vamana to which patients we should advise or we should give the therapeutic vomiting procedure then of course there are some contra indications of vamana that everyone should know that in this particular conditions that we should avoid the therapeutic vomiting or the vamana procedure and then there is a requisite that before starting the vamana procedure as such or even the pre procedure like snehana and swedana that is the lubrication and fomentation before that also there is a first step in the vamana that is called as a deepana pachana deepana is a stimulant to the digestive fire and pachana is like a carminative treatment So let us talk about vamana, that is therapeutic vomiting or vomiting. So this is induced vomiting. But try to understand. You should not worry about comparing your vomiting as a disease or vomiting as a symptom of some disease. For example, the patients of hyperacidity, they get the vomiting at some time in their life. Then, in the cases of gastro or gastroenteritis. there also the patient complain or patient get vomiting as well as the diarrhea or the loose motion so that particular vomiting is a disease try to understand and when ayurved is giving you the induced vomiting as a under the panchakarma that is vamana it is a part of treatment so there is a big difference in the disease and the vamana as a treatment so but there is one i can say the clue that means whenever we get the vomiting it's a natural process of the nature that it is trying our body is trying to throw out the obnoxious or the uh, dangerous material from our body for example gastroenteritis you know that the infection is going bacteria are going inside your body and body is trying to expel that toxins of the bacteria through the process of vomiting or the, through the process of diarrhea so vomiting or diarrhea these are the natural process to protect our body from the infective agents ayurveda takes that natural protective mechanism principle that is used by this particular vamana panchakarma here also we would expected to take out the arm or the vitiated toxic products from the vitiated doshas so there is some similarity that anyway we want to clean our body or detox of our body then there are some respiratory conditions where usually we advise the woman so cough chronic cough recurrent cough especially when the patient is of bronchial asthma and having a lot of expectoration then only vamana is advised there are few patients bronchial asthmatic patient but they do not have the expectoration they have only spasmodic dry cough then in dry asthma dry cough vamana is not indicated the point should be very well clear regarding the hyperacidity it should be coming from indigestion regarding the bronchial asthma it should have the lot of profuse cough then only woman is indicated similarly woman is indicated 
in chronic sinusitis bronchiectasis where there is a huge profuse cough then repeated tonsillitis then of course you can give the woman so impure bio energies like vat pitt and cough especially the cough and pitt they are removed from the body especially cough when it is a toxic or when it is a uh, impure cough then it is taken out through the mouth and that is called as a vamana vamana is a cleansing process in which mainly kapha dosha and secondarily vitiated pitta dosha is removed out from the body this particular treatment modality requires the proficiency or skill of the therapist or of course the vaidya who is guiding that particular therapy so it requires definitely some skill now we will talk about the indications as i have already mentioned that vamana panchakarma is mainly indicated in cough dominant diseases i can give you some examples in the gastrointestinal conditions or digestive system when the person is com complaining about anorexia that is loss of appetite because of the too much uh, vitiated kapha in the body in digestion patient hyperacidity is one of the condition but there are two main different types of acidity try to understand hyperacidity one part is originated from indigestion and some people they do not have this indigestion but still they have the patient of hyperacidity that hyperacidity comes from spicy food or due to the analgesics and anti inflammatory drugs which are called as nsaid non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs so because of the medication they are getting hyperacidity some patients because of the alcohol they get the hyperacidity but remember in this second type of as hyperacidity you should not advise woman woman is advised in hyperacidity only when acidity is coming from indigestion so there is a loss of appetite stool is not well the bulging of the abdomen heaviness of the abdomen etc next indication of vamana is a recurrent stomatitis that is also the pitta problem that can be indicated there are there are some conditions but these heart or cardiac conditions should be very intellectually tackled by the expert and skillful and knowledgeable and experienced vaidya to begin with women should not be given in this uh, cardiac patients by the new practitioners only congestive heart disease then hypertension then some part of the anemia coming from the indigestion then these patients are indicated for women but i repeat when there is a cardiac problem please my dear friend it should be given by only intellectual experienced and skilled having the lot of skill in women then that vaidya can give the women to this patient otherwise new practitioners who are not familiar with this women procedure they should not go for these heart patients then there are neurological conditions like epilepsy and dementia here also there is a lot of uh, toxins according to ayurveda due to the vitiated kapha or the pitta then women is indicated then where women is indicated in the gynec problems when there is a hormonal imbalance like for example person or the lady is a fat one having obesity then lot of indigestion problems scanty menses pcod that is polycystic ovarian disease or pcos polycystic ovarian syndrome infertility due to the tubal block hypothyroidism obesity lymphadenitis these are the indications of women then especially chronic skin problems like recurrent abscess or the pustules on the skin psoriasis urticaria these are definitely indications of women recurrent middle ear infection this is additional indication women process one of the interesting thing is like that ayurveda explains in sanskrit women process is 
निस्सुखत्वम सुखाय च निस्सुखत्वम सुख इज हैप्पीनेस एक्चुअली व्हेन वी आर परफॉर्मिंग द वमन प्रोसेस इट इज नॉट टू मच डिलाइटिंग प्रोसेस इट इज लिटिल लिटिल बिट ट्रबलसम आई एम नॉट सेइंग टू मच ट्रबलसम बट लिटिल बिट ट्रबलसम देन बट रिमेंबर दिस ट्रबल इफ द पर्सन कैन बेयर हैप्पीली then that can give the happiness in the further throughout his life so long term benefit is there remember temporarily discomfort but long term benefit temporarily discomfort but long term benefit this is the tag this is the logo or of, of woman procedure so you have to convince the patient how the temporary discomfort can make you a longer time happiness i can give one example bronchial asthmatic patients they have to take the long term uh, what you can say the intravenous injections like derifilin or aminophilin he can take the nebulization he can take the inhalers but patient is troubling because of the continuous steroids continuous inhalers continuous nebulization and he want to get rid of repeated frequency of the attack and also the severity of the attack so the severity and the frequency of the attack can definitely reduce if the asthmatic patient with expectoration he used to take the practice of taking vamana from the expert vaidya in the spring season or vasanta rutu then he will be benefited for a longer time he can avoid the recurrence on the intensity of the bronchial asthmatic attack caution there is some caution for the woman the person should have the good physical and mental strength this physical and mental strength of the patient is very very essential when you perform the vama so when must vaidya or the therapist or the doctor they should take the proper history proper symptoms and data i will suggest that vama can be avoided in the vat or the pitta dominant biotype or the prakriti and vat predominant or the pitta predominant disease these are little bit contraindication for women now we will see the direct contraindication vat pitta is indirect contraindication vat pitta also the expert vaidya can take the decision whether i can perform the women if that particular condition kapha is more predominant but there are some specific contraindications for women like for example pregnancy better not to give the in the pregnancy women should be avoided then very small children below the age of 10 years or the 7 years very old people like after 70 better women should be avoided very thin or very fat person they are not very good indication for the women then patients of cardiac problems like angina pectoris or myocardial infarction i had given you the one indication that of ccf or the hypertension but in that case also i have warned that this should be done by the expert and experienced vaidya uh, regarding the heart patients then weakness or general debility due to the chronic or degenerative diseases like in the last stage of the cancer last stage of the hiv or the aids last stage of the tuberculosis beta women should not be given this is the contraindication for women next contraindications is the bleeding disorder especially if the bleeding is from the upper part of the body for example hematemesis blood in the vomit hemoptysis blood in the sputum epistaxis bleeding from the nose these are the contraindications here one interesting thing i would like to explain you ayurveda says in rakta pitta or bleeding disorders what is the treatment philosophy pratimarg haranam doshah pratimarg haranam that means whenever there is a bleeding from upward uh, direction then you should give the direction when the bleeding is coming from the downward direction you can give the vaman so this is the philosophical or the uh, treatment modality in the rakta pitta of the bleeding disorder problems so removing doshas from the opposite direction is the principle of the treatment of rakta pitta or bleeding disorder for example 
if there is a female patient and heavy menstruation complaint is there due to the PCOS or PCOD, yes, you can give the woman. But if the patient is complaining of epistaxis in the summer season, then better give the virechana, that is therapeutic purgation, like with the avipaktikar churna or truth leha. Another contraindication of vabana is ascites. Actually, in ascetic patient, Ayurveda says, Nityam enam grechayet is the principle of udara vyadi or ascites. These patients should be given lot of vabana virajan and not a woman. Woman also should be avoided when there is a poor digestive power. So Ayurveda says not only woman but any pancha karma should not be performed in sama condition or having the disease or having the dosha vishyashan with am. Am is a toxic or toxin like substance due to the indigestion of jatragni or at the dhatvagni level. So, in this Sama condition, Ayurveda recommends Deepana Pachana is essential before giving Vaman. So, most of the time before planning actually the Pancha Karma, Deepana Pachana medicines are given. These are like for example, Agni Tundi Vati. Vati is a tablet or Ama Pachaka Vati. Vati is again tablet or Shankha Vati. Musta or the Nagarmotha is best for Ama Pachana. So, Musta tablet, single herbal tablet also can be given for Deepana Pachana concept. So, again continuing with these contraindications, any disease or serious problem in the chest region or ENT, ear, nose, throat, woman should be avoided. For example, in the cases of pleurisy, throat infections, orthonia, patient cannot able to speak because of the lab. Can, uh, cancer of the larynx or cancer of the lung, then better woman should be avoided. Then there is another principle of contraindication. When the woman is a because strenuous process, so contraindicated in the persons doing strenuous physical work or exercise. People having too much stress, mental or physical. Diseases of vata, dosha, mostly degenerative conditions like resting, the woman should be avoided. Then helminthiasis or the worm infestation, they are also better woman should be avoided. Patients who have taken just before anuvasana or nirobasti in these patients also immediately you cannot give the woman or the therapeutic remedy. So my dear friends, this is all together regarding the woman. We have started with the first pancha karma that is woman. Today we have seen the introductory part of the woman, then we have seen the indications and contraindications of woman. Step by step, we will proceed with these all panchakarmas in a very simple and lucid language. Thank you very much for sharing my videos and please subscribe my video channel, YouTube video channel as a Rajendra Deshpande. Also, ask your or request your friends to subscribe my channel to understand the medical knowledge in a very, very simple and most practicable manner. Thank you very much. Have a nice day ahead. Thank you very much.